Hello and welcome to another episode of Unity C Sharp tutorial. My name is Raja and in this video we're gonna learn how we can move a game object by using transform.translate. So let's get started. So in the last video we have seen a pretty bad way to move this game object by uh, by just changing its transform component. So in this video we're gonna learn another way by which you can move it this uh, this direction by using a simple function. So in order to do that, first of all we have to write transform and transform gives us access to the transform component that is attached to this game object and then we have a special function called translate. So this translate function helps us to move our uh, game object or translate our game object in any direction. As you can see here we have a lot of different versions of this function. If I press the down arrow key from my keyboard, I can see different variations of this function. Among them, we're going to use this thing. In this case, we have to give it a x, y, and z value. That means we have to say how much we want to move this game object in which direction. How much we want, to, want it to move in the x direction, how much we want it to move in the y direction, and how much we want to move in the z direction. Okay, so First of all, let me create a special variable. Okay, let me create here a simple variable and call it public float and call it speed. So this is the speed by which I want to move my device. I'm sorry, move my game object. And then I'm going to simply write speed. And for the y axis, as you can see, for the x axis, I'm going to write speed. For the y axis, I'm going to give it zero because I don't want this to move in the y-axis and for the z-axis I'm gonna put it to zero because I don't wanna want it to move in the z-axis I want it to move only in the x-axis okay so now if we run this game as you can see it moves in the x-axis but it moves too fast okay so the same way we can also move it in the y-axis we just have to make the x value zero and the y value speed. So now we want to move it in the y axis by this speed. Okay. So if we run this right now, as you can see, it moves too fast in the y direction. Okay. So if we want to make this movement, make this movement a little bit slow and make this movement not slow but make this movement a uh, correct movement, then we have to multiply it with something called time dot delta time we have I have already created a uh, detailed video explaining what this time dot delta time means so you should definitely check that out okay so we have to multiply speed by this thing called time dot delta time and by multiplying it we'll get a good behavior now as you can see it moves pretty good now again if we put it in the x axis now we can see it moves in the x-axis by this. If we run it right now, as you can see, now it moves pretty good in the x-axis. Okay. And if we want it to move in the opposite direction in the x-axis, so that is towards the negative x, we just have to put a negative sign here. So now we are putting making this speed value negative. So now if we run it, now it moves in the negative direction. Okay, so this is very simple to move any game object using Transform to Translate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. So thank you very, very much for watching and see you in the next video.